Here's a conversation with a famous Sunni sheikh and an apostate who left Islam life on air. عدت إلى الطبيعة البشرية طب ماشي ماشي ما فيش مشكلة الطبيعة بتقول نكاح البنت ونكاح الأخت ونكاح الأم إيه رأيك؟ الطبيعة لا تقول ذلك يعني أنا دلوقتي مثلا أنا دلوقتي راجل ملحد ليس هناك تبني عليه معلش أنا دلوقتي راجل ملحد والله بجد عايز أفهمها دي أنا دلوقتي راجل ملحد وماليش أي ما. قوانين أمشي عليها إلا قوانين البشرية قوانين البشرية نعم تمام؟ ماشي؟ اه انا دلوقتي حبيت امي وعايز انام معاها في فراش واحد، عندك قانون يمنع من ذلك؟ هل ما يمنعك عن النوم مع امك هو الاسلام؟ اه الاسلام هل ما يمنعك عن النوم مع امك هو الاسلام؟ اه الاسلام الاسلام I'm not sure what kind of Sunni Islam the shaky Sheikh Walid Ismail follows, but that's not really what Sunni Islam teaches. Let me show you that classical Sunni scholars do teach that if you have sexual intercourse with your mother and daughter, you are still a Sunni Muslim. Here's the proof from Islamic books to expose the ugly filth within Islam. In the book called Sharh Usul Atiqad Ahlus Sunnah wa Jama'ah, which is an explanation or exegesis for the official Sunni belief, on page 998 we can read, A group of Muslims were gathered. They were sent to Imam Abi Hanifa, who happens to be the founder of the Hanafi Madhab, the Hanafi Sunni school or fiqh. They asked Imam Abi Hanifa, What do you say, uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, about a man who has sex with his mother? and kills his father and drinks intoxicants? Imam Abi Hanifa answered, he is a true believer. Did you catch that? A man who slept with his mother, killed his father and drinks intoxicants is still a Muslim believer? And in the book of Al Muhalla on page 253, we can read that there is no punishment for the one who has sex with his mother, his daughter, his sister, his grandmother, and all of the female family members knowing they are forbidden for him, having sex with all of them. And here is more. In the explanation for chapter 25, ayah 54 of the Quran, back to back with chapter 4, ayah 23, in Tafsir Mawduri, we can read that Imam al-Shafi does not consider an illegitimate daughter who is conceived through illegal marriage a real biological daughter. In other words, you can sleep and have sex with your own daughter as father because under Sharia law, she is not your legal daughter. We can find this also in Tafsir al-Qurtubi for chapter 25, ayah 54 of the Quran, where it says exactly the same. And in many other books like Al-Fiqh al al Madahab al Arba by a Jazari volume 4, page 42, saying it's halal, it's permissible for a man to marry his biological daughter if she was conceived through fornication. Hal ma yamnuk an al nawm ma ummik huwa al Islam? Ah, al Islam, al Islam.